Tony Evans. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. So we just recently did a topic on Tony Evans and I mean, based on based on the reaction, our audience loves Tony Evans. Yeah. I wasn't very familiar with Tony yeah. Evans. My wife loves Tony Evans. There's a bunch of people I know that love him, but I don't really know anything yeah. about him. But then this week it came out that he is stepping down. Yeah. Because of some sin issue. Yeah. So let's uh let's watch this and react. What should we make of Tony Evans? Of Tony Evans stepping down. Nothing. Dr. Tony Evans mm -hmm. used to be my pastor. I used to go to Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. Now there's something that came out where he makes an announcement yesterday to the church, and I think people are going, are going to want to make more out of it. He said his reasons for stepping down for sin. Let's go ahead and I'm going to read the, the statement for you. The foundation of this ministry has always been our commitment to the Word of God as abs absolute supreme standard of truth to which we are to confirm our lives. When we fall short of the standard due to sin, we are required to repent and restore our relationship with God. A number of years ago, I fell short of that standard. Now, I want to just pause right there for a second. Whatever the issue is, he said this happened some time ago. This is why I think he might, he, he should be commended for whatever the sin. We don't know what it is. People are going to speculate. I would say don't speculate because you don't have reason or ground to speculate, though some will. But he says not, not, he didn't break, break any crimes. So who knows what it was? It, I mean, there's billions of different sins you could do. Uh, so let's just leave it, at, leave it at that. But the honorable thing to do was he to come forward and say, you know what, I need so that's wow. um smart christian channel um that's Corey. he does a he does a really good job i could have picked a bunch of different clips but i yeah. wanted to pick him because he actually used to go to his church so i wanted to see what his initial reaction yeah. is um but yeah so go check him out he's he's done two videos on it so far i believe so i think he has some really good insight what what, what was your first reaction i know i was like man I, just knowing the people in my life and then our audience that, that they love tony evans i mm -hmm. i was wondering how it was going to land on people what how did it land on you guys I mean, I think the first thought was um, sadness. You know, whenever you hear about something like that, you get sad thinking like, man, the enemy is at work trying to really destroy, you know, our lives and destroy what God has built up. I mean, he was in ministry 48 years, you know, 48. How do you say goodbye to 48 years? I mean, that's a lifetime of, mm -hmm. of you know, being um, being consistently doing something. And I think I, I, think I read in his um, s statement that he's going to kind of just be another member in the congregation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and how do you get that limelight off you, right? Um, how do you get that, you know, people not coming up to you, asking you the questions or looking at you and, and you wondering? You never could do that. So, you know, how do you remain in that church and do that? You know, I, I don't think I he's thinking. done. I don't think he's done at yeah, that church. He, he said, I think he's just stepping down and getting, like, healed. And he said remain. stepping down, but he said after 48 years of ministry, that's what made me think you he was— You think he's going for good. I think he's going for good, and, and he may be gone from that platform, and he may go to another at some point, but— uh, I um, doubt it. I, I, doubt I, think, it. I, think, I think he'll come back. I think he's going to take some time off, maybe a year or two, or a year, or six you months. You read and that statement. And come, I did read the statement. I don't think, I don't think he would have put in there 48 years. He's talking about how many years he's been at the church. Yeah, how many years yeah. this church has been in existence. 48 how many years. years? Yeah, but it, almost sounds like a, it almost sounds like when you, t when you retire— you say, man, I put in 29 long years in this yeah, company. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if either one happens. I yeah, don't think yeah. it's definitively he's not coming back, but I also don't. I think he leaves room for yeah. to not mm -hmm. be able to. You, yeah. you think I'm a, I think, and I've said this, I don't think people would sit at the church that you like started and like you just sitting there and, and people that still like, you know, they idolize you, but still love you and still like respect you as their pastor. Yeah. Don't keep coming to you and different things and ask you questions. That's not going to change, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I don't think, in my mind, I don't think he's going anywhere. I think he's going to take a sabbatical, like probably needs to take a time off, and then he's maybe going to come back to preach again. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to stop preaching, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think for me personally, when I heard this, I was kind of like, like, you know what I mean? We don't need to know what it is, but I think sometimes in your back of your mind, you're like, what was that? Like, yeah, people, to the yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. wondering. Yeah, because yeah. the, the fact that a matter of you can just go from – like, like this is something in my past that came back up, and it was like, was somebody trying to do something to you that you, you know what I mean? Because that was another conversation, too, where somebody was like, maybe he got it out of it before it came out ahead and all this other stuff. So you always got those speculations, but at the same time, it's just like, man, that's that's the that's the funny thing about sin. Sin, it doesn't care what time period you in. It, it, yeah. It's going to come up and be like, what's well, good? What's interesting is, Corey, um, Smart Christian Channel, he he saw 
the fact that it was a long time ago as a good thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you have that same reaction? Is because it, it could be that you've been hiding it for this long. Yeah. yeah. Too. You know. Yeah, I kind of had mixed reactions. I was thinking that as well. Like, why did it take so long? Depending on what it was, and I think probably conviction got the best of them. But my overall thing was, like I said, kind of mixed because I'm looking at it. Even if it was a long time ago, it's kind of. Can be looked at kind of suspect, but the fact that he had enough integrity and character to say, you know what, holding this position, I need to sit down. Yeah. I can respect that, but I think the toughest part for me is like you already got T.D. Jakes in the news with the Diddy scandal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a few years ago, we mm-hmm. had Ravi Zacharias with the stuff he had going on. Mm-hmm. Now we have Tony Evans with whatever this is. Carl Lentz. Carl Lentz, Lentz. and it's like it's a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. In a world where people are already skeptical of Christianity, we've seen a lot of, I guess you can say, some of those people were pillars or people who are like. Uh, at the forefront of Christianity and now you're seeing these things happen for a mature believer we understand like life happens yeah, yeah, yeah. Happens. Mm-hmm. but for people who don't know any better see them Christians see what they do every time yeah. you think one of them you can trust one of them see what they do so I just think it just kind of makes the, the the fight a little bit more difficult but I mean yeah. Every, yeah, yeah, we all we all need grace I mean everybody in here has, has deserved to be sat down at one point or another but um, I think I think like you said it 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 puts a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths um, about is this real? I, the only the only thing that I always worry about with when this happens is is this a sin issue that that you repented <laughs> from and that mm-hmm. you're you're sorry and you're trying to do, or is this you got uncovered to be fake? Yeah, yeah. And I think the more people that get uncovered to be fake, it just makes people watching on the sidelines say. See, I knew they were pretending. We'll yeah. get into that more yeah. as we go yeah, today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's the prevailing uh, sentiment from like the casual Christian. Yeah, is mm-hmm. that this is all fake? They were just pretending. Yeah, but but I think even even with that, it's still one of those things where it's like Tony Evans. He he came out. You know what I'm saying? He came out and said like you know um, that my situation was years ago, and like I had to deal with it. You know what I mean, and I and I think I think even with that, with people, I think that's why we always had that conversation to know who's who. Because I think for the world, for us, like you said earlier a few minutes ago, mm-hmm. for us, we can tell like, yo, he had a slip up. He gonna be all right. Things going, you know, guy. He, you know, what I'm saying for for the mature Christian can see that, but for the person who's a cultural Christian, who's a body who always talk bad about Christianity. They always gonna have that mindset of right. these pastors ain't no good. That's why they're yeah. and I was kind of worried about because I I know a lot of people. Tony Evans ain't like the like he's not like T D Jakes where it's like you yeah. see him everywhere. Yeah. So when I when I when he when that that statement first hit, I was trying to see if it was online and it wasn't really hitting. But then all of a sudden I started seeing it like on like secular mm-hmm. platforms about him and and what they talk about. And I'm like, he y'all never talked about him a day in y'all yeah, life. That's my point though. That's my point. Yeah, that's it's just. Happens. The, they won't highlight the good things. Yeah. The Forty-eight years of ministry, consistently being a, um, a pillar in his community, helping people. They won't say anything about that. But as soon as it's a scandal, as soon as something yeah. going on, see, 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 and and that's. I mean, it's going to happen. It's nothing. We're not, we can't really control that because we're going to be human, like like Sean said. We all have a reason at some point why you could be set down. Mm-hmm. So it's bound to happen. Sin bound to happen with everybody. But it's just unfortunate. Um, just in the climate that we're in right now, yeah. that some of the biggest faces in uh, which we shouldn't even have idols or nothing, but some of the mm-hmm. biggest faces in what we're doing are being caught in the limelight for the for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Um, it, do you think he needs to say what it is? I do. Yeah, I mean, he in the statement he hinted around to things that you know make your mind jump around. Like he's like, my wife is aware of this, you know, that sort of thing. So it's like, and then you also realize you also want to ask the question too. It's like. Were you at any other point convicted by the Holy Spirit, but you just refused to step down because of something else that was going on or it felt yeah. good? It felt, you know, like this was a control thing for you or power. I mean, you never know what people are thinking, but it's scary to think that, you know, we could um, run from the voice of God or ignore him um, and to the point where, you know, he just has to, you know, I mean, interrupt your sleep pattern. And what's, so, what's the worst thing y'all think it What's the worst thing that you would want to say that? Yeah, we don't want to say yeah. that. We don't know anything. But I, I, I um, I said it in the chat. If you want to go back and look. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? So who is Priscilla Schreer? Because um, that's his daughter. Chambers, that's his daughter. I don't know anything about her either. Priscilla Shire. Uh, she's a she teaches at the church. She was in um, War Room. Okay. She's, she okay. Act, she's gonna be in a new movie coming out soon too. Yeah. 
So mm. with the Kendrick brothers, so yeah. okay. Writer, speaker, yeah. um, author, powerhouse. When it comes to prayer, mm. like she's dope. Okay. Mm. I mean, I, I just I just pray that because he obviously knows this reaction. He knows that people are going to start speculating. He knows yeah. all that. So I just pray whatever it is that it's not going to. Okay. I hate to keep going back to this, but we have a little bit of experience with this. Um, <laughs> the one thing I worry about the most is when everything was going down with with um, Eddie Long. Yeah. Mm. Our pastor. It all kind of happened at the same time. Eddie mm. Long, our pastor, and um, there was a little bit of drama around Dollar and a bunch of people at the mm-hmm. same time. What it did was, at least I know at my church, is that there were people who saw him get exposed not just fall because he didn't yeah. fall he was exposed yeah it saw him get exposed and their reaction was well if he can't do it i can't do it mm. and there are a lot of people i know that cheat on their wives yeah. did a lot of serious yeah. serious sins after that moment because even though you know you're not supposed to be putting your faith in a person yeah mm-hmm. there are a lot of christians subconsciously they are looking at somebody as a role model mm-hmm. and when that role model falls they feel like then mm-hmm. it must be impossible for me the help is in you and you don't ask for that mm-hmm. but the yeah. simple right. fact like 48 years of pastoring the church counseling marriages um, talking to kids uh, who've been in jail and all this kind of stuff like you are a pillar in that community they look at you they put, they hold you to a certain regard like you even see Paul say in scripture follow me as I follow Christ like mm-hmm. he's putting himself out there to the point where saying like hey I, I feel like I'm doing the best I can to be an example of Christ mm-hmm. as your leader, as your pastor, as your person who's mm-hmm. in charge, quote unquote, who's here to lead and instruct you in the ways of God. Like, you know, I'm not saying I'm better than nobody, but God supposedly put me in this position. So, and I, I'm not where you at. So I'm going to look at you like, man, this is like your father in the faith. This is like your leader. This is the person that you follow. So yeah. when you see them do that, like you know they're not Jesus, you know they're not God, but like you said, it's going to impact you. It's like, yeah. man, if, if Tony, if Tony can't stop woo the woo, man. But I think I think that's the dangers of that. Like it is. Like that's the danger of as a believer. Like, like even when our situation happened with our with our former pastor, I never was like, I, I hated that when I like you said was real. Like you heard people going like, yo, this person getting divorced, this person cheating, with, and it's you saw the ripple effects yeah, of it. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like. That's why I I really cherish my walk with Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I really cherish it. And I and and like you said, we we're, we're not perfect, but at the same time, that's why I never looked towards. I looked for him like at the time, like he was he could say stuff, guide and stuff. But I it wasn't like an idol for me. Like mm-hmm. it never was. Like any any past I ever had in my life, I never idolized them. Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes that's where we, as sometimes as 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 Christians, we. We we don't do we almost do what the Israelites do, like we need somebody. We need somebody. Yep. Give us yeah. a king. Give us a king. Give God. God, king. God, God is like it. I'm here. The I'm elephant exactly. in the room. The black church, especially. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say that. <laughs> the black <laughs> church. The pastor. He's gonna be your mechanic. He's gonna be your counselor. He's gonna yeah. be your pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be yeah. whoever. You know, you gonna yeah. you gonna esteem him so highly. Well, pastor said he was like, right. what the Bible say? Well, pastor said, well, pastor, you know what yep, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all you hear yeah, is yeah. like, people don't read. But my yeah. mentor said, it always draws back to what are you beholding? Mm-hmm. Like, I had the, the privilege of speaking with one of my evangelism brothers, and he was like, it everything draws back to that. And even with Tiffany Montgomery, with idolization. Because if you're beholding people, yeah, that's going to make you feel like, oh, I'm looking at Tony Evans. If he can fail, I can fail too. But the perspective shift is we are sinners, broken people. We need God. So if he can fail, how easy is it for me to fall as well? Mm-hmm. Not to say that, look, Jesus is my help. You know, yeah. that's who, if I behold him and I keep my eyes on him, then it's going to be hard for me to miss the mark. Yeah. But if he yeah. can miss the mark, I can miss the mark. But that also draws me back to Jesus. So it's like, I need you like air. Yep. I mm-hmm. need you like oxygen, mm-hmm. not like water. I can go a couple of days without drinking water, <laughs> but I need yeah. you like oxygen, bro. So yeah. that I don't fall understanding yeah. that I can, but there's grace for that. You know, wow, 